Why do so many creators love Kit? On Facebook and Reddit, it often gets recommended by users. And at Email Tool Tester, many of our team, myself included, use it for our own personal projects. But before you hit the sign up button, there are a few key things you need to know, including why you might be in for a shock when you jump from the free plan to a paid tier. Stick around as I take you through Kit's biggest pros and cons to help you decide if it's the best newsletter platform for you. By the way, if you want to see how Kit stacks up against other creator-focused tools like Beehive and Substack, make sure to download our newsletter platform comparison template. Here, we compare all the top newsletter tools to help you find the best fit. It's completely free, so get your copy using the link in the description below. As you might have heard, Kit recently rebranded itself from ConvertKit, and with that came a fresh new interface and some exciting product updates. The first thing you'll notice is that it's super easy to find your way around. Features are organized by goals such as grow, send, or earn, making it all very intuitive. One thing I love about Kit is how easy it is to send a newsletter or email. Building your own template with its block-based editor is simple, and you can add elements like products, polls, galleries, countdown timers, and more. There's no technical know-how needed. Just be aware that Kit doesn't give you a huge range of templates to start off with. And as you'll see, the designs are on the simple side which is fine if the main focus of your newsletter is your copy. However, it might be limiting if you're looking to create a newsletter design that stands out. When it comes to capturing new subscribers, Kit has you covered with forms and landing pages that can be easily edited whatever your needs. The landing page designs in particular are impressive, with a decent range of modern templates that let you capture newsletter subscribers, create wait lists, gather ebook or event registrations, and even create link and bio pages for your social media profiles. Although you can't really edit their layouts, you can tweak colors and fonts, insert elements like images, countdown timers and videos, and even add custom CSS if you're handy with code. And of course, it's absolutely possible to edit your form fields so that you can capture the relevant subscriber information. One thing that really sets Kit apart from other tools is the fact that you can actually connect your own domain and use it to host your landing pages, even if you're in a free plan. This is great for branding and even SEO, as it means that your landing page URL will be your own, rather than the one provided by Kit. Unfortunately, the range of form templates is a little more limited. While you can choose from a variety of form types, including inline, modal, slide-in, and sticky bar, you'll find there are just a handful of designs to choose from. But the good news is that you can change images, colors, and fonts to make them more consistent with your branding. When it comes to list management and automations, there are a few handy features. You can create segments based on filters such as geography, subscription date, or custom field values. And you can also use automations to tag subscribers. For example, adding a newsletter subscriber tag if someone registers via your signup form. And on the topic of automations, you'll find that Kit gives you enough to automate basic actions like sending welcome emails and email sequences, updating custom field values, and moving subscribers to other automations. But anything more advanced like sending campaigns based on web page views or scoring leads is unfortunately not possible. Kit's automations can also get messy as a lot of them overlap with Kit's rules function, which are an alternative way to set up automations, although they're limited to one step only and are reserved for paid plans. Also be warned, reporting isn't Kit's strong suit. Sure, you get basics like open, click through and bounce rates, but it's missing a lot of key information. For example, if you've heard of Apple Mail privacy protection, you'll know that it's a problem for marketers trying to get an accurate picture of their open rates. But unlike other ESPs, Kit doesn't show you what proportion of your open rates are being falsely inflated by fake Apple Mail opens. You also don't get any data into how many automated bot clicks you're getting. And yes, they do happen. In that sense, it's lagging behind many of its competitors, including its biggest one, Beehive, which does provide information about which clicks they verify to be legitimate. Of course, as a content creator, what you really want to know about are Kit's monetization features. And I have to say, these are top notch. With Kit, you'll be able to do things like sell premium newsletter subscriptions, offer digital products, join the sponsor network, and get paid for recommending other creators. It's easy to set it all up and there's no need to integrate with any additional tools. What's incredible is that you can make money even while you're still on Kit's free plan. It's not often that you see an email marketing platform that lets you monetize without an upgrade. So Kit definitely earns a few brownie points for this.
In fact, Kit's free plan is one of the most generous we've seen here at Email Tool Tester. And if I'm honest, it's probably why so many creators start out using Kit. You can have up to 10,000 subscribers and create unlimited emails and landing pages, providing incredible value. But it only allows for one visual automation and one email sequence, which isn't much. Plus, you're required to recommend other newsletters as part of Kit's creator network, and you don't get a say in which. Once you start getting serious with your email marketing, you'll probably have to switch to a paid plan. And here's where it might sting a little. Kit's cheapest plan, Creator, starts at 25 a month. If you hit your 10,000 subscriber limit on the free plan and need to upgrade, you'll suddenly be forking out $100 a month. Talk about painful. Of course, considering the excellent monetization features you're getting, it might be a relatively small price to pay. So, is Kit the right newsletter platform for you? Let's quickly wrap it up with the biggest pros and cons. With Kit's incredibly generous free plan, you can have up to 10,000 subscribers, unlimited emails and landing pages, and even start making money from your newsletters. And with monetization features like paid newsletters, digital products, and the sponsor network, Kit gives you all the tools you need to earn money as a creator. We also like Kit's clean, intuitive interface. Features are grouped together by goals like grow or earn, making it easy to find what you need and get started fast. But it's not all smooth sailing. Here are a few drawbacks you should know about. First, going from the free plan to a paid one can be a bit of a shock, especially if you already have a large list. Also, the email and form templates are pretty basic. Great for simplicity, but maybe too plain if design matters to you. Finally, you won't get insights into Apple Mail Opens or Bot Clicks, which puts Kit behind some of its competitors. Already convinced? Try Kit for free using the sign-up link in the description. Let me know your questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more email marketing reviews and comparisons.